We are gathered around you to give witness to the choice that you have made to make this relationship the one that you will trust in, work through, care for, and build on. A decision that this love will be the love of your life. We celebrate the commitment that you are making today. Your promise to each other on whatever you're here for, whatever happens, you're in for it together. I think that it's safe to say that out of the hundreds of years of collective love and marriage that are represented here by the people that have gathered here, what is on everybody's hearts and minds at this moment is, you don't have a clue. <laughs> But after talking with you a bit, I don't think that's quite true. You've been together for a while, and through some very significant transitions in your life, you do have a clue. You have known since early in your relationship that you connect with each other in ways that bring out the best in the other. There's a sense of groundedness and security that allows you to face the future together with a creative confidence. But you are also realistic about the differences between you and that, you, that are part of every relationship and are at times difficult to deal with. You come to this moment as we all do from different histories, different family stories, different life experiences that have created in you individual differences that at best are fun and attractive and fulfilling and exciting, and at worst, can be challenging and cause misunderstandings that result in anger or hurt feelings. You have worked on your relationships, troubled spots, with self-awareness and directness, as well as with love and patience. This is to your credit. Where you haven't a clue is in life's relationship stuff that you can only really get through the doing of it, the living of it, over the long haul. That is the part of the stories that are present in many of the people that sit behind you today. You have been blessed that you were raised by parents that not only loved you, but that love each other. They have wisdom to share with you when it comes to walking through life's tough times together. Listen to them. But here is the catch. As good as these examples are of good relationships and others' examples that are surrounding now, as good as these may be, their paths cannot be yours. Just as you are unique individuals, your relationship is unique as well. You will need wisdom and courage to be willing to find your own way. And that may mean at times that you may even need to give each other space and the freedom to follow a slightly different life. The work of marriage then is to never allow your paths to drift so far apart that the relationship, who you are together, gets lost. Some of us may look at the newness of your relationship and feel that you don't have a clue. But in truth, ultimately, where your marriage is concerned, you're the only ones that do. What the rest of us can offer you is the insight that we gain through our years of experience that may provide a little light along the way. Guiding light. You know, like those little reflectors on the side of the road. Lights that shine the love that you have for each other back into your relationship. Lights like, be kind. Be generous with each other. Be patient and forgiving, always fight fair, laugh and play together often. In the story, Tuesdays with Maury, Maury who is dying and knows it is 
sharing his life on marriage. And he says to Mitch, there are a few rules I know to be true about love and marriage. If you don't respect the other person, you're going to have a lot of trouble. If you don't know how to compromise, you're going to have a lot of trouble. If you can't talk honestly and openly about what goes on between the two of you, you're going to have a lot of trouble. If you don't have a common set of values in your life, you're going to have a lot of trouble. Your values must be alike. And the biggest one of those values, Mitch, yes, Maury, the biggest one of those values is your belief in the importance of your marriage. Good advice. Maybe the best advice that I ever got about marriage was from Heather's grandpa and grandma, Marge and Bill Geyer's bathroom wall. And no, it wasn't for a good time called Jim. <laughs> it was on a small sign hung in the wall at eye level across from the toilet. My guess is that it was strategically placed there for repeated viewing and time, with time for reflection. It read, three little words that will save your marriage. Maybe you're right. <laughs> good advice. Tough to do, but good advice. Marriage relationships are constantly evolving. Yours started with the romance of three cupcakes. Who knows where that can lead you? Feelings of love wax and wane, but trust and commitment must be constant if the relationship is to endure. You will need to make an effort to keep rekindling the romance that depends on your decision and your commitment to be in love with each other. Appropriate and constant attention to these things will increase the chance that the love that brought you together today will be transformed into the love that keeps you together all day. Arnold and Heather, today we have gathered around you to give witness to the choice that you have made to make this marriage important one that you will trust in, work through, care for, and build on. A decision that this love will be the love of your life. May it be so. We now turn to face each other. Do your vows to each other. Arlo, please repeat after me. I, Arlo, take you heaven. I, Arlo, take you heaven. To be my wife. I promise to walk by your side forever. I promise to walk by your side forever. And to love, help, and encourage you. To love, help, and encourage you. In all that you do. In all that you do. I will take time to talk with you. I will take time to talk with you. Listen to you. Listen. And to care for you. I will share your laughter and your tears. As your husband, lover, and best friend. As husband, lover, and best friend. Everything I am and everything I have is yours. Whatever comes, our way, Whatever comes our way, I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Heather, please repeat after me. I, Heather, take you, Arlo, I take you, Arlo. To, be my husband. to be my husband. I promise to walk by your side forever. And to love, help, and encourage you. In all that you do, 
I will take time to talk with you, listen to you, and to care for you. I will share your laughter and your tears as your wife, lover, and best friend. Everything I am and everything I have is yours. Whatever comes our way, I will love you faithfully. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of the commitment that you are making to each other today. <clears throat> May these rings always remind you that it was love that brought you together, and it is love that will keep you together through all the seasons of your life. May I have a token of Arlo's love for her. Arlo, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end, neither show my love for you. I choose you to be my wife and join my life to you. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband. Enjoy my life to yours. and Arlo, may you be blessed with hope enough to keep sunshine in your love, fear enough to keep you holding hands in the dark, unity enough to keep your roots entwined, and separation enough to keep you reaching for each other. May the love that brings you here today Bless you with harmony enough to keep romance in your song and discord enough to keep you retuning your relationship so that the music of your life together, though it changes, will always be sweet. Arlo and Heather, now that you have shared with each other these words of love and commitment, and we have witnessed the expression of your love as you have given each other these things and joined your hands and hearts before your family and your friends. It is with great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Thank <laughs> you. 